so till now we have covered we have understood about how we can launch microsoft excel how we can check the version of installed microsoft excel in your system and then we have learned about some basic interface of microsoft excel and we have also learned how we can enter the data how we can edit the data and most wonderfully we have discussed also how to deal with the how to get advantage of the cell reference whether it is a relative cell reference or it is a absolute cell reference and after that we have common shortcuts with us so what are the common shortcuts so shortcut keys are basically functioning to provide you easiest easiest way to use a particular function so we have the shortcuts available in that case you are directly moving to a particular functionality rather than following the main path you will go with a shortcut so the first shortcut key we are discussing here this is control plus n so what you are pressing here you are pressing control key and then you are pressing the n from the alphabet key so this shortcut is used to create a new workbook so whenever you require a new workbook rather than going to uh, opening it from file menu we can do it from control plus n as well so how we will do it let's try it with the excel also so i'll launch the excel the same my favorite way to do that so what we are doing here in the home i'm going to a blank workbook for example and i have the option file and to open a new file from new file new so if i want to do that i can do it with the choosing the blank workbook or you want to choose any predefined package or any predefined sample template you can do that for now we can take the blank workbook as well the same thing you can do it by clicking on control plus n so if i'm here and i'm not going to any file menu and or not going to any particular option what i am doing i'm just pressing the control plus n and in that case again i am getting the new workbook how you can get that you have checked it from the book 3 as well i'll minimize this i'll minimize this also so i'm not saving anything for now so this is the shortcut control plus n to get create a new workbook then the next shortcut key which we are discussing here is control plus o o is to for opening the new workbook or the new uh, we should not say it new workbook we should say it the existing workbook that is opening a existing workbook that is control plus o after that i have control plus s this is for the saving saving the active workbook so for the opening the existing workbook what we can use we can use control plus o as we have used control plus n to create a new workbook then this control plus s key is used the shortcut key is used to save the active workbook f12 f12 is save as so what is the difference between the save and save as when you want to change the name of that particular workbook or particular document with any other name then in that case you can make it save as what we can understand it with a example as well suppose i have this workbook and what i am doing it i am saving it let's save it with the shortcut only that is control plus c s so i am putting the name i'll put it in my desktop i'll name it as maybe week 1 i'll put it P week 1.1 as the name and i'll save this so this in this way i have saved that particular workbook here now i want to make it the same changes like what i am doing here i am putting some kind of data here some data is available and i am saving it again now i'll close it and if i'll go to my screen or I, if i'll go to my desktop i can find this particular document over there which is named as week 1.1 now if i want to open the same file what i can do i can go to the open and i'll look for week 1.1 now my requirement is to save the same file with another name also in that case i'll do save as or i can go with the shortcut also and i'll put it as a name maybe second version and save so i have two files now one is with the name week 1.1 second version so i have the same data set with me so whatever changes i am making in any copy that is independent of the another one so basically i have two workbooks for now these two workbooks are carrying the same kind of information 
But if I want to make any changes, I'll make the changes in the opened one only. So this time I'm working with week 1.1 second version. So I am making the changes in the same file. If I'll open the previous one, I'll make the changes in the same file. So this is the difference between save and save as. Let's go back to the slide again. So the shortcut key for save as is F12. We have discussed till now four shortcuts that is common shortcuts. Control plus N is to create a new workbook. Control plus O is to open an existing workbook. Control plus S is to save the active workbook. And F12 is to do the save as. Control plus W is used to close the active workbook. So you don't need to go to uh, your interface and close it from the available menu at the top area of the right top area. You can directly do it with the keyboard also that is using control plus W to close the active workbook. Next shortcut is control plus X or C or V. So you might be aware about this already that control plus C is used to do the copy of the content. Control plus V is used to paste the contents and control plus X is used to cut the content. So I'll write it again. This is cut, copy, paste. So X is for cut, C is for the copy, V is for the paste. So you can use it very frequently. So rather than uh, clicking on the key uh, menu bar in the file, you can go to the keyboard and you can do cut, copy, paste. Control plus Z is used to do the undo. So if you want to go back to the, your previous work, so you can use the undo. Control plus P is used to open the print dialog. So whenever you're printing, you want to do the printing of your document. What you can do, you can just directly go to the print page, print dialog page that is control plus P. Let's try that. This is very interesting one. So I'll go back to my Excel. So I'll click control plus P. So it is this print dialog has opened here. Whatever settings I want to do, I can do it from here. If I want to choose my particular printer, yes, I can choose it. I can tell about the active sheets also and the port portrait or the landscape orientation you require. Margin you can choose, scaling you can choose. You can further go for the page setup as well to set up the margins, header, footer and many other functionalities are available. So the another way is to go to file and print. And otherwise, what I can do, I can directly go to control plus P. So both the cases. So normally common shortcuts are used to use these functionalities. So right now we have learned function, this common shortcut for new also, open also, save also, save as also and for print also. I'll go back to slide. Next shortcut is control plus D. So this is very, very useful shortcut. Whenever you're working with the large data set or even with the, a good amount of data, whenever you are entering the data, when are you doing the analysis at that time, we use this. Control plus D is used to copy the content from the above cell. I'll show you. For example, what I'll do, I'll just open my previous file. I'll go back, open so that I save with week one. So this was the, our previous file where we have learned how we can enter the data, how we can edit the data, how we can do cell reference whether it is relative or absolute cell reference so similarly what i want to do i want to copy this entire content from this to this row so one method is to go to that particular cell copy it maybe with the shortcut or you can go with the this cut copy and uh, paste thing as well so what i'll do i'll paste it so this is the one way to do that Otherwise, the second way is to I am at that particular cell and I want to copy the content from the above cell. So I'll just directly press the control plus T so I can have that particular value with copying it here. I don't know to go to this control plus C and control plus V, but I can directly do. I'll just do directly control D so we can have a good amount of data copying in a single shortcut rather than using control plus C and control plus V, I'll directly go with the control plus D. So if I want to copy the entire row, this 500, 15, 20. So I'll try this also. So what I did, I just selected everything and then I press the control plus D. So you just now you think about you have the large data set in that case also you can perform this thing also control plus D to copy the content from the above cell. What if if I try it here, whether it will work? No, it will not work because it is picking the only value that is available at the above position of the that particular row. So this is copy the content from above cell. Control plus space. This is to select the entire column. 
so i'll try this also what i want to do i am here so i'll do control plus space so what i am selecting i am selecting the entire column here so i don't need to go it directly here or something like this wherever i am here so what i'll do i'll click on control plus space and what i can do i can choose the entire column over there this is the power of the common shortcuts next shortcut is shift plus space so select the entire row so this is very good difference so whenever you want to select the complete row in that case what you can do you can just keep your cell over there you can put the space accordingly or you can have the path accordingly and then you can click on shift key plus space when you're doing that you are selecting the entire row and on the another case what you are doing if you want to select the entire column in that case you can use the co common shortcut key as a control plus space so i'll go back to my excel again so this shift plus space entire row selected control plus space entire column selected so if i'm at this cell then in that case shift plus space entire row control plus space entire column so i can do it like this next shortcut press alt key to navigate through keyboard and the another thing is that suppose i am here and if you want to move it like uh, to another tab what you can do you can press the alt and you can press alt key and you can actually know about all the shortcut keys that is available with the excel so whatever shortcut you want to use you can use in the combination the symbols are written here so this p, p indicates the page layout formulas for m a for data review view help and so other ways are to use the common shortcuts this is all about using the common shortcuts so i'll revise it again so what we have covered till now we have covered control plus n to create a new workbook to open an existing workbook we can use control plus o and to save the active workbook it is the workbook in which we are dealing f12 is to use the save as control plus w is to close the active workbook and the shortcut is control c v and x for copy paste and cut control z to do the undo control p to open the print dialog box and control d to copy the content from above cell control plus space is to select the entire column and shift plus space to select the entire row and alt key is to use to navigate through keyboard 